Hey guys, I always look for the opportunity to shoot a little film to figure things out. So, it's day three. As you guys see, man, we actually have a cantilever right here. This right here is a cantilever. Now, these flooring joists, the flooring joists, you can't see them. Well, yeah, you can. You can see the flooring joists right here. That flooring joist, you see it right here? It goes all the way to the other side over there and rests on a girder over on that side. So it comes around just like this right here. And as long as you are more than, as long as you are, are less than a third of the distance of that span from here to here, you can do this right here, cantilever. And we are far less. We're two feet here, we're probably 14 feet right here. So this right here works out really, really well. I, I'm sorry, 15 feet here. So this right here, cantilever, this is fine. This is absolutely fine for this part of the house to be on a cantilever. So that's kind of what we got here. We're gonna get this thing set up for, we gotta get it set up for, um, for vinyl siding. Um, Sophies is gonna be vinyl. It's gonna come here. And guys, you can kind of see we kind of, we kind of got this thing kind of worked out here, guys. It kind of works out here. Um, when you have a that roof here, if you guys look at this roof right here, the pitch on this roof is probably less than um, 2%. And so when you got a roof like that, I'm sorry, it's, it's less than 212. So when you got a roof like that, guys, you're gonna have to do something else. You have to have what they call ice and water shield up there. So it, you just can't do, put shingles, man. Shingles are not gonna be enough. You gotta do an ice and water shield up there as well. So, <clears throat> you know, we had, some, we had some studs here left over from the other house, guys. We have an opportunity to use this stuff. We try to use up everything as long, as long as it hadn't dry rotted. This is kind of some lumber that's left over. Uh, and we'll see how close I got. I hope I got pretty close as far as my takeoff. I think this is, is this all that was left on the uh, floor? Yeah, and another sheet over there. That's pretty good calculations, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing that because uh, I did the takeoff on it. Uh, let me see. So, wait, we got a little flooring right over there, left. All right, so we got the rest of that over here for this. That should, should take care of it. It's gonna be really, really tight. Uh, let's go in here, guys. Oh! Right here. Yeah, it's about fall. I know I'm getting old. So we're in, you know, we're, Come in here after we get everything done, man. We'll tie all this in. It's the roof. So we got a couple of uh, so we tying into this existing roof. Um, so let's come along, guys. I'm trying to reuse lumber right here. This right here looks like the master bedroom here. I don't really like those gaps like that right there, so. These guys, we have to figure out a way to fill this right here. Um, but as you see, these spans, we had to, you know, I had to do my little span chart on this right here to make sure I had my spans right. Um, I think we're on 24 inches on center, and these are two by eights. And I think they, you know, uh, we're well not think, you know, when we check the span, it actually works out, guys. So those span, I ran the span this way guys right here we ended up doubling the we doubled the flooring joist for this for this wall right here so that we can span this right here we can span this is a load this well not quite a load but this right here can carry this span up here from here to here so those are two to six so guys these are ways that you can actually save lumber and actually another way that you can save lumber is like this right here door don't necessarily since we, i mean this is like leftover lumber but this door right here this is just a room partition and you don't have to have headers on room partition right here this right here would be considered a room partition 
that's a non-load bearing wall here. So you don't really need headers, but you know, in most cases, man, we just go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. Um, now all exterior walls are gonna be load bearing. So you see why we have those headers right there on that window there. So now it's time for me to go get the windows. I need to go get the windows and and um, drop them off over here. I have, um, have Clay to get the windows and drop them off over here, man. We'll, we'll be good. So also, this lumber right here, these guys right here, those braces that we're using, we're going to use that. We're going to pop them guys off, and we're going to use them to wrap around the house as a basis for the fascia. Let me go right there fascia board something that you can attach the um you be able to attach the siding to this is what we got here guys we'll go back with the same color we'll get this up all right guys and so i gotta still come here i'm surveying the site guys you want to have it to where when these guys get done they don't have a whole lot of lumber left over so this is what we got left right here they may have a few boards on top of the roof but you know that right there has got to wrap around this portion of the we got a little portion of the house right here boom 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 that goes right there so that's got to got to wrap around in plus we got to finish up the top so i'm looking i think we ought to be okay but i had to check you know like i said guys i got my little camera over here you see my little camera right there I was able to reposition it. So I can kind of monitor these guys and kind of see if they're running out of lumber. If they're running out of lumber, I can kind of check that out. All right, guys, you, you guys have a good one.